Avon has been building inflatable tenders since 1959 and have always been considered a premium brand. The partnership with Zodiac in 98 helped cross-pollinate technologies like serviceable tubes and even shared platforms. New to Avon's grand tender line for 2018 is this 22-foot GT670, which is based in part on the newest Zodiac Pro 7. With 23-inch tubes made into a rugged deep V fiberglass hull, you have the kind of offshore capability that is expected of a state-of-the-art tender. You also have a few luxury items expected from Avon. For example, the more premium Hypalon tubing is standard equipment and you can choose between black or white. Personally, I really like the white Hypalon. I think it has a sharp, high contrast look. It's very clean looking and it never gets warm to the touch. Teak boarding steps are also standard, adding traction with a touch of style. A large profile rub strake helps keep the tubes looking great and reinforced cone ends provide a little extra protection to stern. Standard features include a large anchor locker with plenty of room for heavy duty ground tackle. The fuel fill is conveniently located under a small hatch that doubles as a forward step. Large fore and aft deck lockers accessed by wide hatches provide plenty of storage below to help keep the deck free of clutter. Two different consoles are available, allowing some choice between storage and mobility. Our test boat had the narrower of the two consoles, with a forward-facing seat that is hinged to access the storage compartment. The backrest folds down to reveal a hatch for accessing the upper compartment and instrument panel. If you're moving around the boat frequently, this is the console you want. But if you want more storage or wind protection, an extra large console is also available. Either console can be mounted offset to one side, allowing a wider walkthrough to the bow. PWC-style jockey seats are available for rough water, but our test boat had the more common leaning post, which I find easier to move around. Storage below the cushions is handy for smaller items, which I'd use to keep my lines off the deck. The upscale helm features all white gel and a thick leather trimmed stainless wheel. Yamaha's push button LCD screen is small enough to mount in several locations and easy to read even in direct sunlight. The tall windscreen offers decent protection and is tinted to help reduce glare. Although this is the smaller console, there is still plenty of room to mount larger electronics. Sharing accessories with the Zodiac line makes for an extensive options list and our 670 was sporting more than a few of them. This heavy-duty bow rail wraps around a padded seat cushion providing security in a seaway while adding support to the extra-tall mooring bollard. The rugged T-top adds to both form and function with plenty of handrails, a welcome sunshade, and support for the tall windscreen. I have to say, I really like these helm chairs, especially the way they're bolstered. It's been a bit rough today and we're getting tossed from side to side a little. It's quite comfortable sitting down. The versatile rear bench seat will be one of the most comfortable spots to sit while underway. With a base that flips up and a back that flips down, sub-deck storage and transom access remain unfettered. Finally, a roll bar provides a high toe point and permanent mount for the all-round nav light. Perhaps the most notable is the pair of Yamaha F-115 outboards. These 1.8-liter inline four-cylinders are extremely quiet and smooth. For most applications, one is probably enough, but if you venture offshore, the added redundancy is nice. Together, they do weigh about 200 pounds more than a single 250 horse V6, but you'd hardly know it behind the wheel. Sure, there's a little more bow rise and she's a bit more sensitive to trim, but the acceleration is intense. Time to plane is less than two and a half seconds and she'll hit 30 in under four. Top speed is just over 49 miles an hour. Back off to 30, and she cruises along sipping fuel at just over four miles per gallon. With a 52.8 gallon tank, range could be as high as 190 miles with a 10% reserve. Ride comfort is exceptional with the 24 degree deep V. The bow slices through most chop and the big tubes keep the spray down. Ferrying passengers and gear may be her primary role, but this kind of ride comfort and range would have me exploring way further up the coastline.